All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all fucking ages, welcome again to the Ed Namrock Podcast. Now, this particular podcast is more of me venting about a personal issue. Now, I don't expect you to know what's happening in my life, nor will I share all the intimate details. However, I will give you a synopsis and pretty much the plot of the movie with fictional characters. I am not the type of person to throw anyone under the bus simply because that's just not my style. So, with that being said, you might be asking, land your fucking plane, Edgar. What is it that's bothering you? And what is it, what does it have to do with me? What do I get out of it? What's in it for me? What's my payout? Well, I'll tell you your fucking payout or your payoff. You're going to want to hear this because you know it's true. And it deals with antagonization. Now, if you're like me, which I don't know if you are, but if somebody, a person, for example, knows precisely what to tell you to trigger you, to make you feel defensive, to make you feel like you need to defend yourself in not only a verbal matter, but a physical matter. There are people in this world that make you feel that way, that trigger you. And I'm not talking about in a political sense, and I'm not talking about in a social media sense. I am referring to people who trigger you in a face-to-face encounter, in a face-to-face conversation, in a face-to-face engagement. Now, it could be your parent, it could be your best friend, it could be an acquaintance, it could be your spouse, it could be your brother, it could be your sister, it could be anybody. Now, you get triggered with whatever content, whatever subject is brought up, unnecessarily key. Keyword, unnecessarily. Now, in your opinion, it'll, it will be a petty situation. And this person decides to snowball it. And if you don't know what snowballing means, it means taking a very small ball of snow, sliding it downhill, of a mountain and it creates a big fucking boulder. Scientifically, that has been proven. It can happen. But another metaphor and analogy would be pressure cooking. So what's my point is what you're asking. Well, my point is there is no wrong in defending yourself. There is no wrong and getting mad or angry at someone that's accusing you of doing some stupid shit. Now, when it's petty, insignificant, it means nothing. Something very simple, something that can basically be brushed off or brushed or swept under the rug. When it's something like that, and it's blown completely out of proportion, You have every fucking right to defend yourself. I mean that. You have every fucking right to defend yourself. 
Most people, when they are guilty of something, they beat around the bush and think of all the words to say. If it's a big, 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 significant issue, but when it's petty, for example, so who took your last Twizzler in the fridge? Who drank the last of the milk? That type of shit. You should not stress about it first and foremost, and you should not make a big fucking deal out of it. Secondly, especially when it comes to your own home, especially when it comes to the domicile that you reside in, and especially when it comes to your own sanity. Now, again, what is it? What is this in it? What, what's in it for you with this conversation? What's in it for you? What's your payout? Again, I repeat, it's okay to defend yourself if you feel attacked for something that is very minute, very insignificant. Now, you decide how you're going to resolve it, because if you're not completely wrong and you're not the culprit, then it takes the other parties to collaborate and do just right, which is very, very easy to say, harder to do. And the reason I say that is because eagles are like assholes. Everyone has one. And another thing, if you're like me and your honesty is confused for being an asshole or a dick, it's okay. It's okay. Unless you're purposely trying to bully someone into a second class type of thinking then you're wrong. If you're, for example, telling someone, why are you wearing those fucking shoes? They have holes in it. Just like that. If you tell someone, why are you wearing those fucking shoes? They have holes in it. Take them off. They look like shit. You don't have to be a dick about it. Why are you being an asshole? Because they have holes in it and they look like shit and we're going to the bar and you're single, you have no girlfriend, you haven't had a girlfriend in five years, look decent for once. And not to mention your feet, I can smell your feet through the cracks of those fucking holes of shoes. If that's being a dick, so be it. If that's being an asshole, so be it. But the fact remains, it's okay to be brutally honest with people. But other people are not ready for that brutal honesty.